for this demo, I will show you the, the difference between the IR emitter and the IR blaster. Okay, and let's do the let's just jump to a demo right now. Okay, and here is my setup. Okay, I using the wireless IR repeater to send the signal from here to my target there. Here is my target, which means the uh, audio amplifier. And here is the distance. And this is the uh, uh, IR transmitter. Is here because for this transmitter, you see that we I just connected to the IR emitter or IR blaster from here and sending the IR signal from here to the device there. And here is the distance. So here is. The uh, one centimeter, two centimeter, until blah 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 go to here it's around 300 meters, uh, 300 centimeter which means uh, 3 inches, ok? Oh, three, uh, 3 feet ok, let's do the demo first of all, I just connect him to the IR emitter, uh, IR emitter to send in the IR signal to the device ok? Because uh, micro IR emitter, so as in the video you can see, the IR signal cannot send in the signal from here to there. Because usually the distance will be like say uh, 10 centimeter only. Let me prove it to you, okay? And here is my IR receiver here. So here I just, okay, I just, just press the uh, button. Okay? On and off. Okay, here is on. On. And you can see that nothing happened. On, off. Here. Okay. On, off. On, off. But if I ignore the IR receiver and just press the button, then you can see. Run, off. Uh, of uh, right, but if I go to here, the receiver, and you can see here, nothing happened. So which means the the power for the IR emitter is very, uh, very small. So right now, let's do the other demo, which means I just connect into the uh, IR emitter to right now I just connecting the IR blaster to the IR emitter plug here. Okay. And then here, I press off, on, and let me uh, button up, off, on, off. See? You see a difference? Then I keep pressing, okay? Uh, oh, oh. Shoot. Too noisy, right? And on, off. On, off. Okay. So the conclusion for this demo is um, I just want you to know that IR blaster, the power for the IR blaster is huge than the IR emitter. Of course that depends on your application, okay? So if your application is in the cabinet, I think um, the IR emitter is enough. But if your application is in a uh, huge er area, like say huge uh, space, then I think this one is good for you, and for the emitter, the I, I mean the blaster, because the blaster advantage for the blaster is because the angle is very huge, right? Maybe around 90, 90 degrees, or totally you are 180 degrees. But for this one, emitter, the uh, the angle for the tra transmission will be around 40, 40, 45, 45, so totally just 90 degree. And the distance will be longer. This one, let's say, longer. 
as the uh, demonstration, you can see the uh, distance will be around over 3 feet. But for the IIE meter, just 10 centimeters only. Okay, so that's a difference. So, and also the, the second um, second advantage for this uh, IIE meter, uh, IIE blaster is because for the IIE blaster, if you want to shoot your IIE signal to the to the to a device, then for the IIE uh, blaster, it's easier for you to find out the IR receiver on your device. But for this one, um, it's also easy to find, but just all depends on your application, okay? Any question? Just let me know, okay? Thank you. Bye.